Welcome back to Top Blast. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about cringe moments in my 600 pound life. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. My 600 pound life is a reality television series that has aired on TLC Television Network. Since 2012, each episode follows a cure in the life of a morbidly obese individual who begins the episode weighing at least 600 pounds, and documents the attempt to reduce their weight to a healthy level. Today, we'll be counting down the best 600 pound life moments that made people cringe. The behavior of some people on my 600 pound life is embarrassing and horrible at times. It can be felt the most by the caretakers of these stylish people. The heroes of the program are often very unpleasant to their guardians, e.g. when they do not get the food they want. As we can see, for example, and they should know that they cannot eat unhealthy things because they have to lose the weight. Cringe. Here we can see an example of Lisa who asks God to take her from this program because she did not want and does not need any help and she applied for it herself. Every day she was rude to doctors and nurses and not to mention family and friends. She was harsh towards them and told them it was their fault that she looked like that and that they wanted to finish her off by being on the show. This situation, according to most viewers, was very cringy and they were even ashamed of this woman who treated everyone so badly and blamed everyone around without seeing her guilt in anything. When everyone heard that this woman wanted to lose weight, they unanimously agreed that it was a real shame. This woman said she would only lose weight if she had sex seven times a week. Seriously? Even the doctor felt embarrassed to hear that, and then he could barely suppress a laugh. These people have exceeded all limits of good behavior and can be safely called pathetic kings. I don't even know how to explain their horrible behavior. The brothers support silly ideas because when one of them urinated on the floor just to get the nurse to clean it at the same time the other brother was sitting on the toilet and singing into the microphone. The entire recording was posted on Facebook, very pathetic. One of the most painful moments was when Penny tried to convince Dr. Now that she has made progress in sharing that she can now reach out and clean her private parts. It was very disgusting. A lot of viewers after this situation woke up and stopped watching My 600 Pound Life. Sean continually talks about his goal of making it to assisted living. I could take a shot every time he said it. And who the hell wants to make that their goal in life? Those assisted living facilities are a death sentence for someone like him, like it was for Robert. But the only thing he can focus on is how to find another situation where someone can take care of him as his mother did. And when he was perfectly capable of walking to his door to get a delivered pizza, but couldn't walk to the five feet to the bathroom to empty the stinking toilet bucket that sat next to him all day, he's probably just given up. It is a pity that the goal in his life was not to change his life and lose the weight, but just to go to an assisted living center. So as you can see, some situations in the stories are very cringe. In addition, we can see a lot of regrettable behavior of the program participants. We can also notice often that my 600 pound life participants forget why they are on the program and negatively challenge themselves, e.g. with their tutors, and this is very pathetic. Do you know more about the situations on my 600 pound life participants? If so, be sure to write in the comment section below. We look forward to your comments and hope you will surprise us with stories we didn't know. That is all we have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more content like this and much more. We will see you guys next time. Take care until then. Goodbye everyone.